not my first cup of coffee this morning. Uh, it's my, uh, I guess it'd be my second. It's my first one at the model table. Now I think that uh, what we should do here is in order that all of this will make more sense, we should roll back about, uh, oh I'm guessing 14 hours to last night. I did come back to the model table again. And uh, let's just roll back and uh, you'll see what I did if you want to. And if you don't want to, you can just scrub ahead to the time I'm going to put at the bottom of the screen. And you can get to right now. Because there's something I want to say here about uh, why I use this. Uh, yeah, let's just roll back and, and uh, try and get everything in perspective here so that, like I say, everything we've done here will, will make more sense. Well, I am guessing at least four hours has passed since we glued these little joints up with uh, the Tamiya Extra Thin. And I've been sort of, you might say, pondering how am I going to fasten th these photo etch pieces that represent some sort of a, uh, I don't know, a rope or maybe a cable. I don't know what it would have been on the real ship. Probably a cable. Well, where where it comes right there, I think probably just sort of a lap joint is going to, we're going to have to do. But I was thinking on the other end here, now you can see how there's a, there's a bit of a stem coming out. And I was thinking that it would be really nice. No, no, I could I could just lap joint that one on too. Or I could I could bend this over and sort of try and you know, glue it on the side somehow, but I was thinking what if there was a little hole? Like uh what if there was a little hole drilled in right about where it's supposed to go. It's a, pretty much where I'm touching actually. And uh, I have some really, really small bits and I was thinking this evening it might be kind of fun if I to see if I can drill a little hole. I'll, I'll measure this and see, see what the uh, actual size of that little stem or whatever you want to call it is. Um, I think I can carefully measure it without crushing it. And uh, I do believe that I have a bit as small as uh, 20 thousandths of an inch. I used to know, but I've forgotten. But 20 thousand sticks in my mind, and, and we'll, we'll see. It, it, it probably would be just about the right size for, for, this, for this part that I'm touching right now. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get on with it here. And... Uh, and and I think it would also be fun for me to see if I can video it. I mean, uh, I, I really get a kick out of seeing if I can video stuff like that. Now, uh, this this being said, this hole should have been drilled before we glued this up. But I think I can sort of come in at at the from the side a little bit, and and not catch this part here. Uh, yeah, let's see what we can do here. This is my smallest bit. I've had it for 25, probably more like 30 or more years. And I've managed not to break it. And, uh, okay, we're at zero here. Oh, I was wrong. It's uh, 13.5. 13 and a half thousandths. Now, somehow it has managed to become magnetized. All right. Let's put it in our little adapter here and uh, See if we can get it in the drill press. I forgot we were going to try and measure the uh, stem.
โอเคเอ็ดนะฮะพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสองพันสอง Without having the the big chuck catch on this and break it off, and because if that's going to be the case, then uh, I'm not going to risk it at all, and I'll have to maybe see if I can't do it by hand, which would probably be the smart idea. Well, maybe if I if I was to lower this down, now that's going to mean it's going to possibly have more of a wobble. I know you can't see too good from back there, but trust me, when when we actually do this, I will put the macro lens on. Okay, <clears throat> so the thing is going to be turning clockwise, so I'm going to want to have this on this side, so that if it does catch on it, it's just going to brush it away instead of pull it in. Yes, we can. We can do it. Just barely. I've learned to move really slow when I'm handling stuff like that. Now lately, that's not a problem. Moving slow comes natural. Okay. If I check the manual, it appears to me that. This uh, thing is supposed to mount just above this little uh, protrusion here. That's what it looks like. Either that, or this was supposed to represent something that you would, you know, fasten it to. But I don't know how you could. So I'm thinking if I take Mr. T's poking device here and just sort of make a little hole here. It'll be sort of like a uh, countersink. Now that—that's the plan. I, I know normally I would have the macro lens on here, but oh, gotta be careful here. I don't. When I'm pressing. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other one. Okay, so we did this one.
Oh, I didn't get that one quite square, did I? Well, I don't think there's too much I can do about it now. Oh. Oh. Tried to fix it and I made it, made it worse here. What can we do about that? Well, maybe, maybe it's not as bad as I thought. Okay, yeah, it, it, it's, it's not as bad as I thought. And we'll, we'll get rid of all that excess stuff later. Main thing is to get the hole. Okay, let's uh, get this set up on the drill press and see if we can't video it. Okay, I'm getting myself a jig all made up here. But you know, it's almost uh, 11 minutes after 8, 12 minutes after 8. Uh, I think if I'm smart here, I'm going to call it a night and we'll continue on in the morning. So we'll see you in the morning. So okay, obviously it's the morning. And Last night I was one, th thinking to myself that undoubtedly there are, in fact I think I made reference to it, that it probably would be better to use something like this to to drill using this tiny little bit here that you probably can't even see. What was it? Thirteen and a half thousandths of an inch in diameter. But But why is it that I wouldn't use something like this? Okay? And, and yeah, it, it, it for a, for a bit that was a little bit bigger, it'd probably be safe, but I would probably end up breaking that bit off as I'm trying to turn this, okay? It, it's just too fragile, at least for me. Now, there is another thing I could do. Okay, I've got this Dremel. But as I've, as I've mentioned before, the slowest it will go is 5,000 RPM, approximately. That's the slowest it will go. And even on a small bit like that, that's way too fast. It'll, it'll, it'll melt the plastic. The friction, it'll, it'll melt the plastic and then you'll end up drilling a hole a lot larger than what your bit is. So I don't use this, but <clears throat> I, was, I was wondering... If, is this a, an electronic speed control or is it, I think it has brushes, yeah, it's, it's got brushes because I can see where I would take the, the plug out here and I could change the brushes. So that means I could probably rig up something like a light dimmer switch to reduce the power so that this would run a lot slower. And I know there are, there are, there are these uh, hobby drills out there like that because, uh, I saw S Steve in the model shed using something like that, unless he took something like this and, and did just what I said and made his own uh, speed control up. I mean, it's, it's, it's not that hard. Uh, well, it's kind of hard. You gotta, you, you know, you gotta do it. Uh, but anyway, th this is a, the slowest this, this thing will go. And that's, that's just way too fast. Now I'm I'm surprised that Dremel doesn't make something more for drilling plastic for plastic models. Now I noticed that Tamiya will sell you a little kit for an electric drill that you put together yourself, and uh, the, the hobby store here in, here in Winnipeg's got one. And I was thinking of of getting it, and I forget how much it was. But anyway, you put this thing together, and you've got this sort of little. It's almost like a kid's toy but at least you, you could make it so it would run slow by instead of having two batteries in it you just have one or maybe one that's almost dead <laughs> anyway uh, may, maybe someday i'll uh, make a speed control for this and, and then and then it would it's, it's a little on the heavy side though i wish it wasn't so heavy but a person could very very precisely then uh, like this chuck will will take this little bit um, Anyway, uh, let's get on with this here. 
I've got it set up so that what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp this block down and uh, and, then, and then I'm going to drill a, a tiny little hole in the block so I, I know where this thing's going to come and then I can put the macro lens on and move right in. Uh, you know, lately I've, I've got a real bad habit of explaining everything I'm going to do instead of just going ahead and doing it. And then while I'm doing it, I'm explaining it again. I know it's... Uh, uh, oh, I, I did go out and check the, uh, the bird feeder this morning and uh, I, ju I just looked at it and when I was in the backyard, well, the, I could hear birds in the neighbor's yard. <laughs> okay, I'm just using uh, dollar store clamps here, uh, but I think that should hold it. Uh, these clamps were literally only a dollar a piece, and uh, they do have a tendency to slowly let go. But uh, usually for something really light duty, they're good. Like they work good at the hobby table for holding little plastic parts together or something. Um, I'm going to just make a little a little hole here, just just a reference hole. I got a little bit of wobble on the end of my tiny bit there, but I think it's going to be okay. Okay, I'll focus in on that uh, on that little hole, and uh, I know that everything should be in field of view. And I plan on doing the two camera thing. You know how I like to do that. Okay. Now, I think I'm ready to go here, and. Uh, if you will remember, I want to make sure that I don't have the uh, have have th this thing here um, in such a way that it can catch. So we're gonna I'm gonna try and hold this down so I don't get my my finger in the. in the field of view here. Now, maybe I, maybe I should be coming at it from the other side. Now, I don't want to break this off, we just glued it on there. The, the hole is there. Yeah. Okay, so bring this down. Let's see here. Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty good. And the, yeah, it's not going to catch. Well, here, here goes nothing. Well, all being well, we should have a hole in there. Just needs to uh, be trimmed up just a little bit. Now, if we can do the other one the same way. Very gently now, Ron, very gently. You're not a bull in a china shop, remember? Uh,
I don't know if that's going to make any difference, but it makes me feel better. Okay, and this one here. I can get it generally in the right position before I turn it on. It makes it a little easier. I think that's about it. I guess I really didn't need to go right through, did I? Okay. And uh, once again here, just for perspective, folks, just for perspective. Okay, let's try and get rid of this excess here without taking off that little protrusion that's supposed to be there. I'm starting to fill in the hole, that's not good. Okay, maybe I better quit there while the quitting's good. Now this one here. Don't want to block the light. I guess I am blocking the light, aren't I? Let me check the monitor. Oh yeah, I still see it. Sometimes I forget that the auto ISO... Oh, I'm filling the hole again. Run! Let's see if I can get that out of there. You know, with the, even the smallest amount of plastic in there. Um, Yeah, that worked out. It worked out all right. Let's all right. Now, you know what day it is today, right? Now, somebody made the comment that last pizza day. I turned my pizza for two minutes or something like that, and I think I did, so I'm going to be careful not to do that this time. Anyway, this is one sixteenth of a pizza. Uh, yeah, you remember I cut my pizza into eight, eight slices, and then last week I decided that, well, maybe we'd just have uh, ha half of an eighth, which is a sixteenth. Anyway. That works out to uh, 219 calories, approximately. Okay. The next one we're going to do different because that's that's the last uh, that's the last piece. Anyway, I'm just going to enjoy that, and uh, then we will see if we can get our photo edge part to fit in those little holes that we just drilled. I don't see why not. Don't know what I'm going to use to glue it in. Probably, uh, probably CA thin. I mean, what else, right? Okay, let's uh, enjoy this. Been waiting all week for this. up to 
758 calories for today. So if I'm going to keep it under my 1,000 calorie a day diet, actually it's been running a little less than that, uh, I'm good for a salad here, that's about it. Um, yeah, the diet's been going pretty good. Uh, it, I think I mentioned last week or the week before that it's going very, very slowly now, even though the calorie intake is, is not getting increasing. Um, but I'm not discouraged. In fact, I am very encouraged. Uh, even though I realize now that by November the 2nd, I will not reach my goal weight. But I should be there before Christmas. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get on with this. Now I will put the macro lens back on when it comes time to trying to insert these little stems into the hole we drilled. Um, and the little stem being right down there. Now I don't think it matters which one of these we take. The little hole is right there and the stem is right here. I'm just going to reposition everything so that uh, you can move in and see me bumble this. Now I was just thinking here it, it might be a good idea if we were to remeasure and uh, come on try and pick this up without bending it. There. Okay, so it's going to go this way. Now, remember there was sort of a little hook on the end and we concluded that from the manual that had to go up. So when we do poke this end in to the hole, we have to make sure that before the glue dries, uh, like I'm, I will put the macro lens on, don't worry. I just wanted to see how, how is this going to fit here. is our length. Yeah, our length is almost perfect. Almost perfect. Now I know I keep saying I'm going to put the macro lens on, but uh, what I want to do here is just show what I've got set up. Otherwise, when I'm zoomed right in on this little area down here, you won't have any clue what I've set up. Okay, now we'll put the macro lens on. Okay, I know you can't see it, but at the other end of this is the hook, or whatever that is, and right now it's the wrong way, so for for this to be, I have to turn this over here, like this. Okay, now the hook is up. Now, what I want to try to do is pick this up without bending it, and we got to get it down in that hole. That didn't work. Please, don't be another one of these episodes. Well, at least I can cut out the dead spots. That might be enough. I know you can't see the top where the where the top is supposed to go. Yeah, I think it's going to be all right. Um, all right. Now I think the thing to do is pull it back out. Put a little droplet of CA thin on the hole, and then poke it back in. Okay, you're going to notice that I did reposition just a little bit here, and the reason for that is because I was finding that when I was pushing down, the, the uh, helping hands were sort of giving way and going down, whereas now it's resting on the, on the table. Now, 
Now, did I mention I'm sure glad I can cut out the dead spots? You know, this this ball does not seem to be picking up as good as I... Yeah, once again, I'm going to have to use the other one. Looks like there's something wrong with my CA glue. Okay, I'm sure I've got it. I don't have all day here. Maybe if I come in from the other side with Mr. T's poking device, it'll go down just a little bit more. It's not quite straight. It should be uh, turned just a tiny bit clockwise here. Well, I think we're just going to have to uh, leave well enough alone here. All right. Now let's lay it down on its side and see what we can do about the other end. Okay, I did not lay it on its side as I had planned. I had planned on just laying it right on the cloth here. But I realized afterwards I could accidentally have some CA glue the end here down to the cloth and that would not be good. So, yeah, you can see how I've got it set up. I don't need to explain it. And the idea is we, we want to try and get this. I'll put the macro lens back on. Um, I think I can see how this is supposed to go, that this is not actually a little hook. It's designed to be at the same angle as this boom, which is not quite 45 degrees. Somebody thought it was supposed to be 90 degrees, but uh, I, I don't think so, because if you put it 90 degrees, it's not there. Something like that might work. Okay, I'll put the macro lens back on. Okay, I think Trumpeter's plan was that you were supposed to have it so that this angled piece that we were calling a hook is supposed to lay against. It just let me get my fingers in the way there. Sorry about that. Something like, whoops, like this. Now, where's my applicator? Did it go and get underneath now on me? Sorry to be getting my fingers in your road there. Oh. This may not work out the way I, I, I think it's supposed to go. I just don't have the dexterity that... If I could just get it to wedge in behind that little bump. I sure hope I don't have my hand in your way and you can't see what I'm doing here. You know, we're going to have to call this video a day. It's pretty long already. Oh, you know what, I think I've, I've bent it a little bit now. I'm just trying to hook it in behind that. Okay, now. Just 
just a tiny little bit. Okay, let's let that cure. Thanks for watching everybody, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.